Welcome to Ellis B. Feaster's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. Whoa. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Here, okay. The person's on hold. Okay. Blind date. No, wait. No, wait. No, wait. No, wait. No, wait. Okay. Um, person, I don't have you in the witness protection program program right now. I can't okay. do. I can't do that. Okay. 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 But Mr. X, this is Mrs. X or Miss X, Madam X. Okay. This okay. is the person that's got the crush. Okay. Uh -huh. On you. Okay. Uh -huh. And I think this is really sweet. Okay. Uh -huh. what, what's your first name, Mr. X? Jim. Jim. Okay. And uh, I think this is really sweet. Do you want to? Do you want to find out uh, who it is? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Oh, sure. All right, but you're not dating anybody. How no. How old are you? Uh, I'll be 39 Saturday. 39 Saturday. Okay. Have you ever been married? Yes, I have. Okay. Uh, we won't talk about that. No, we won't. Um, <laughs> so, uh, has Madam X? Are you, have you ever been married? Um. Yes. You have, and you're no longer married. Right. Okay. Uh, Jim, do you know who this might be? That was the finest idea. Okay, uh, go ahead, Madam Max. Just say some things. Um, hi. Uh, we usually work together. Well, I've talked to you on the phone quite a few times. You have? Um, uh huh. We usually kind of call in and, and uh, get cases, and I'll be the one to either give you cases. Uh huh. Do you know who it is now, Jim? Uh, could be anybody. Okay. Um,. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of oh, I see. I haven't today. made an impression. No, you know what? In, in, in all honesty, <laughs> I know, like, yeah, your bridge, you're, you're, yeah. you're very uh, full volume. I can't. And, but at the same time, I think this is really sweet. I mean, you've gone out of your way to meet this guy in a unique and creative way. And Jim, you got to appreciate that. Yes, I do. I mean, how many uh, people take time to do this? So I think you're off to a great start, both of you. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, do you want to do? Do you want to try uh, first name? Don't do that. Madam oh, X? Oh, sure. Okay. What First name? My first name is Michelle. 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 Ah, do you know ah. who it is now? Do you know who it is now? Uh, yeah. Well? Well, what? She's going to crush on oh, you. Yeah, I was hoping she did. Oh, what? man. This is so <laughs> hard time. This, You're kidding. This is very cool. See? Look at it. Michelle. Out. Aren't you glad you've done this? No, you're kidding. No. Jim, really? You've you've kind of had a crush on sure her. I've, I had a, I've had a crush on her for years. No. Yes. Yeah. No. Oh, man. Get out you guys, of town. Why, not, why don't you just take a yes? There you go. Wow. You both dig each other. Well, wait man. a minute. He may be thinking of another one. No. Well, there were two, Michelle. Okay, which but do, one are you? do you know which? Uh, no, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. No, which I'm one? Kidding. No, I'm kidding. See, she, Michelle, don't you do your uh, self esteem, man? Bring it well, up a level. No, okay? it's, it's it's up there, but I mean, come on. If it's been for years, yeah. Well, you know, then why do I have to make the first move here? Well, I was Remember married. What I told you to do, Michelle. I was, I was married before. Michelle, do me a favor. Oh, he was you, married before. You know, that's why yeah. he couldn't. Why? That's right. why he couldn't. And you yes. have made the first move here. I wouldn't mess this up right now. No, I'm not messing it up. I'm not messing it up. No, not at all. Okay, I'll I think tell you that's what. Cute. I think that's neat. I think this is sweet. I want to meet both of you. I think okay. this is awesome. Okay, and and uh -huh. what was the interest? Was it because? Uh, Doc put in there. I want to throw down. down. Was that it? Was that it? <laughs> Jim, I said, oh, okay, I'll throw no. down. Yeah, well, right? actually, No, no, actually, what the heck does uh, throw down mean? Well... I'll talk to you off. Okay. <laughs> no, Michelle, this guy has a has a spark for you, and you've got a spark for him. Mm -hmm. Have some self esteem here. Have I some, have self esteem. But, but at oh. the same time, you you deserve uh, you deserve it. Maybe uh, Michelle has plenty of self self esteem. Oh, good. She's okay, I got to meet you too. How about if I buy dinner in a hotel room? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, how about Nick? Nick's fish market. Yeah. Fine. Oh, cool. Uh, that's the Nick's Fish Market out in Des Moines. No, no. <laughs> and it's recently reopened. Uh, I, I would. Uh, well, he's got a, good taste. How about this? How about if I buy the date, okay? If you buy the one. As long as you don't come along. No. No, no, no. <laughs> what I'm saying is. Oh, I'll, wait a minute. Maybe we want him there. <laughs> I'll buy you dinner, okay? I'll buy you dinner. How's that? 
that's a great idea. Okay. Is that good with you, Michelle? No, I think that's okay. Okay. You don't have to do this, though. Well, yes, he does. Shut up. Yes, this does. is fine. <laughs> uh, I'll buy dinner, and then I want to meet you two, okay? Oh, no. Well, how are you going to do that? You guys are going to have to take a lunch well, break. You guys, <laughs> you guys, you, look at you. You both like each other, yet you don't go out of your way to say hi to each other. And how no, am I going to? No, 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 but at the same way. time, listen to me. You, why do you guys been here? How am I going to buy dinner? I, I, I buy dinner. Okay, it's not impossible. Yeah, I want to do this. Come on, you guys. Okay, I think this is very cute. I, I like do it. too. I get very good vibes All from right. this. So let me let me get some addresses and some names. I want you to come into town. I'll buy dinner. And then you guys do the rest. And then I want I want to meet you two on the air, okay? <laughs> on the air. On the air, okay? Michelle, I told you Hang on. Okay, Doc, get some numbers, okay, please? See? This works. Very, you can tell that they were very... scared, though, right now, because it's like, you know, they were kind of... But did you hear him? He goes, Michelle! I was hoping... That is awesome. We'll buy him dinner. Send you out to Patello's. Nice chili dog. See you, Kevheads. Do you have a crush on somebody at work? That was very cool. Tanya, it works. That was very it cool. It works. Come on. Little Cupid you. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, I just want pager numbers now. If you know a drug dealer, uh, we could play Let's Call a Drug Dealer. And if that drug dealer calls us back and, oh, I don't know, a certain amount of time, like in 30 seconds... Wins a prize. Is that good? Sure. Wait, 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 wait. get drug dealers involved mm -hmm. in the show. Yeah, yeah. But did, does anybody that you know have a pager? And then we just call them back. And then they're calling a radio station. They're on. What the heck's going on? <laughs> yeah, I understand you like to uh, deal heroin. Welcome to the show. I like pager numbers. It doesn't have to be drug dealers. Just people. Wacky, nutty people. This is beautiful. Okay, kids, when we come back, check in with Peg. I'd love to write some more love letters. Plus, our pal, Lucy, the tarot card reader. She's in the studio. Ooh, spooky kids. Oh, man. Oh, man. Spooky, spooky. Yep. You're listening to the Kevin Matthews Radio Show. I absolutely love Harris. Harris, take me where the fun is right, where there's action day and night. Harris is so exciting. I'd love to come every day. Harris is the only place to go. Hey, Chicagoland, Harris Joliet Casino is giving you more. More Vegas-style fun and a bigger and better menu of restaurants. How's this sound, partner? If you're looking for big-time Western steaks, great seafood, and oversized desserts, mosey on down to the Range Steakhouse. It's a prime select cut of the modern West at Harris Joliet Casino. Hit the high strike of the band. Make me feel like no one can. going to Harris, you're really missing the boat. The first thing I decided to do in our new home was redo the bathroom. I mean, that wallpaper had to go. The difference between the dream and the house are all those trips to the hardware store. I went down to the Sears hardware store. I knew the color I wanted, but getting the right look, well, that was going to be tricky. Sears hardware store. The hardware store that has everything you need and need to know to get the job done right. Well, Stacy, the color expert, matched my color perfectly. And she also showed me how easy sponge painting can be. The price you want for the dreams you build. Sears Hardware Stores. Now there's a craftsman right in your neighborhood. Well, my bathroom is now my favorite room in the house. And Stacy, if you're listening, I want to try something different in the foyer. Hey, that's great. Hi, this is Stacy from the Sears Hardware Store. Listen, stop by this week and save $4 on Sears Easy Living Interior Flat Paint. On sale, just $8.99 a gallon. Got a home improvement concern? Come talk to me or any of my associates at the Sears Hardware Store in your neighborhood. We'll help you get it done right. 
and travel times. Here's reporter Dorothy Humphrey. Thank you, Jimmy. Traffic's brought to you by Pioneer Press, the publishers of the brand new Arlington Heights Post, Arlington Heights' one and only local source, one of 48 Pioneer Press hometown newspapers. The inbound Kennedy slow Fullerton to Armitage, 24 in from O'Hare, 14 from Montrose. Outbound stop and go from the Circle Interchange to Armitage and Austin to the Northwest Tollway because of midday construction. It's 20 out to the junction, 46 to O'Hare, and the express lanes are open there only eight minutes. Out on the Ica, delay central to First Avenue where an accident's off on the right shoulder, 25 minutes out to Mannheim. The outbound Stevenson slow from the Tri-State to County Line Road because of ongoing road work. 26 out to the Tri-State and 39 to the North-South Tollway. In on the Ryan traffic flow 95th to 71st because of street sweepers. Then slow Cermak to the Circle Interchange. 22 minutes, 95th Street to downtown. I'm Dorothy Humphrey on the Loop FM 97.9. That was awesome. <laughs> He's mad. He's bad. Max Matson. Hello, this is the doctor. Oh, hello, Max Madsen. What is it now, number one Mitsubishi dealer? What? You've decided to give Max Madsen mega Mitsubishi deals that are mighty big? <laughs> Max Madsen, need I say, that's more than a mouthful. And that's mighty big of you. But then again, you are mighty big. No, no, no offense, of course. We're talking mammoth Max Madsen deals on every new 96 Mitsubishi Galante, Eclipse, Montero, and Mirage in stock. Max Madsen, mobs of people will be milling about about your Mitsubishi dealerships. You might be mad and bad, but you're not crazy. He's mad, he's bad, but you'll be glad when you meet Mad Max Madsen. He's mad, he's bad, Max Madsen. Max Madsen Mitsubishi, 2424 West Ogden Avenue in Downers Grove, just a half a mile east of 355. It's Pepper's You Got It sale. That's right, you want a water bed free for six months and no interest for a year? You got it. Now at Pepper's. Dial 312 Pepper's. <sighs> Some views. I like that. I like that. Pager numbers. Do you have anybody famous? Their pager number? I want pager numbers. We page and call them. Plus, I want inner office loves. That's beautiful. Hey, Pugsley, did we get all the information on Michelle and Jimmy? Uh, handle. When are they going to go out? When are they going to go out? They're deciding that amongst themselves. What's good oh, for them? That's good. Okay. This telegraph about this show. What? Oh, last Jimmy. night's television show. Look who that's from. From the desk of Janet Reno. There, Jim. I made time during my busy day to watch your show, and I must say... What? How do you know Janet Reno? Stalker. I must say, you are one handsome little dude. Next time I'm in Chicago, we will have to get together, if you know what I mean, love and kisses. Jim, you okay? Jim, you can actually see the man... Every uh, every Monday night on Sports Channel. Hey Jim, did you spill something in your lap? No. This is really uncomfortable. Yeah, is it uncomfortable? Yes. That's great. Hey, uh, you're leaving. You, you, we've got to find a replacement yeah. tomorrow. Yep. Sorry. So we you got get? fired. Yeah. Like, yeah. What about Connie Chung? Can she do a uh, news for us tomorrow? She's calling me back. Seriously. I think she's in New York. I know. Greyhound she, bus couldn't get here. She knows she can do it over the phone. She can do it over the phone. I'll be gone tomorrow. I return Thursday and Friday, and then I'm gone Saturday through. What are you doing? The, uh, what are you doing? Saturday? I have to go to Springfield, Illinois, for a cable legislators ah! meeting. What the hell is that? That is a geek fest. You're going to a cable what? It's lobbying. What? You know how you go lobby for you know various legislation. What are you doing? Well, there's a lot of cable laws right now that are under review, and you know there's a lot of um, problems going on with you know what should what you should have to pay for and what you shouldn't have to pay for extra with cable and things like that. So, going down there, I'm not, I, I wasn't was, invited. I was invited. No. 
Maybe they can do something so you don't have to put aluminum foil on your antennas. Springfield. Uh-huh. So I'm training down there tomorrow morning, come back. Are, are you going to be in the CLTV truck? No. No. Are they flying you down? No, I'm taking a train. Couldn't catch the flight that would get me there in time for the... Uh... Taking a train to Springfield? They yeah. Trains to Springfield? Yeah. You gonna see the governor? Are you gonna demand it? I will be right there. Yeah. Ask him to lighten up. On the Capitol. Pull his hair, jump on his back, okay? Wail on him. Edgar Scissorhands, our uh, yeah. our great governor who hates Chicago. And then Saturday, going to Canada. Calgary, Blackhawks, playoffs. I'll be back Wednesday. Saturday? Uh-huh. And you'll be back when? Wednesday. Who's gonna do news? Sorry. Jim, aren't you going to cover the Blackhawks playoffs? No, I, I can do it from here. Hey, Jimmy, don't you have little mope reporters you send out to cover yeah, that stuff? Yeah, of course I do. I send out the green zit-faced idiots out there. Are you trying to say Peggy's one of those? Uh-huh. Don't you have a satellite? Send the feeds back here. I don't report on it. No. Okay, now we got to find somebody for tomorrow. Who do we go? Connie Chung? Jane Pauley? Who? Maria Shriver? Who, who, who? Who? We'll find somebody. Dorothy? You mean Dorothy took off. Uh, let's uh, check in, in with Calgary. Peg. Yeah, she's in Calgary. Ah! At 19 minutes she's after the hour, I am Peggy Kaczynski. The FBI continues to uncover items in Theodore Kaczynski's cabin. Among the 232 books found in the hermit's hut was one titled Growing Up Absurd. Don't call him a hermit, okay? He was. He was a swinger. He was, that was a bachelor pad. One book titled Growing Up Absurd by Paul Goodman and Basimov's Guide to the Bible. Also, did we mention a bottle of antidepressants was also yeah. found Any with his Playboy, dental bridge? Hustler, Cherry, nope. Club? Nope. None of the above. Flush. Unless you're from New England or upstate New York, you should have filed your taxes or asked for an extension by now. Americans struggling to meet the midnight filing deadline coped in different ways. In San Francisco, the post office provided police officers, clowns, and even health care workers for those last-minute filers. The health care workers report that 70% of the people who have come in have moderate to high blood pressure. There was a couple See, of right here is a budget arguing. cut. Right There's here is a budget was cut. For an extension, there was a woman sitting on the curb crying because she was short one stamp. She finally found out that if she parked a few blocks away and walked in, she could come in and buy a stamp. What a waste of oh, money. God. Cut that right now. Oh. A new study says you'll have to look long and hard to see Hispanics on network TV, even though they do account for nearly 10% of the population. The report is titled, Don't Blank Hispanics in TV Entertainment. says even when Hispanics do appear, it's a negative or inaccurate portrayal. No, With the exception of Jimmy Smith on NYPD Blue and Hector Alejandro on Chicago what Hope. What about on a man reruns? That's another one. But that's it. There aren't any after that. Trying to get rid of that burning pain in your stomach? Well, the FDA is approving a two-drug combination that for the first time cures stomach ulcers and prevents them from coming back. Supposedly. The only drawback is patients that suffer nausea, headaches, and problems tasting food. But if you take the combination of Prilosec and Bioxin, a few weeks has already healed almost 90% of those with ulcers. And finally, here's some food for thought. A Czechoslovakian was sentenced to 18 months in prison for killing a neighbor who ate his dog. That's right. Miroslav Bartos strangled Josef Opa after he found his pup was gone and Opa left licking his lips. Dog meat's supposed to be pretty good. It is. Would you eat a dog? Yeah, you should I've known a few. <laughs>
the news is brought to you by Harris Casino. More Vegas style fun in a bigger and better menu of restaurants. At 22 minutes after the hour, I'm Peggy Kuzinski on the Kevin Matthews Show. Hey, do you remember that elderly, uh, those two elderly women that got in a big fight on the on board the plane yep. and the plane had to land? Do, yep. we, do, we, do we have their phone number? Because yep. they one, they should be out of the hospital by now. I would now. think, yeah. So we, they were in their 80s and they mm -hmm. were fighting. Mm-hmm. Now, who couldn't break that fight up? Who couldn't break two 80-year-old women up? I'm sure they did, but... Well, why would you turn around and have to go back to the airport? Because they thought that the one had a medical problem. So? And the other sister demanded that, you know, she get attention. We got to call them. Yeah. Have to call them. Okay, we'll get that number. All right. The countdown is only three more days to Margaritaville. Yup, Johnny B invades Key West Friday. Be here when Woodfield Ford, where every day real deals are only minutes away, and United Vacations offering quality value vacations around the world, bring you Johnny B live from Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. We stand away again in Margaritaville. Friday morning, Brant Meyer does the showgram live from Key West. Searching for my lost shaker Accommodations provided by the Key West Hilton Resort and Marina. Key West's newest resort with an oceanfront downtown location. Just walking distance from Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville Restaurant and Bar. Calling all parrot heads. Only three more days before Brandmeyer invades Margaritaville. On the morning radio showground. Pay attention now, ladies, because I am only going over this once. When you see an S with a line underneath, it means... Smooth over everything, sir! And that means you want a... Make golden beer, sir! And the tag is... Airlines are Bush, St. Louis, Missouri, sir! Dismiss! People, it's S with a line underneath S. Smooth over everything, which stands for Mick Golden. Don't be embarrassed if you didn't know. That's what I'm here for. Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. Okay, one more time. In Beauty and the Beast, uh -huh. Little Chip's mother is... Belle. No, it's Cogsworth. Cogs Come play the Disney Video Masterpiece Collection Trivia Challenge now at McDonald's. Just order a medium or large soft drink, supersized fry or hash browns, pull the card, read the Disney trivia question, scratch off the right answer, and you'll win every time. And with over 300 million prizes, it's going to be magic. Cogs, Bell. Cogs, you mean Mrs. Potts. Mrs. Potts! I won! <laughs> the Disney Video Trivia Challenge now at McDonald's. No purchase necessary, Boyd. We're prohibited. See store for details. In 101 Dalmatians, which puppy has a spot over his eye? Pat. Oh. In Beauty and the Beast, uh -huh. Lumiere is the what? Candelabra. Relive your favorite Disney moments by playing the Disney Video Masterpiece Collection Trivia Challenge at McDonald's. Just pick the right answer to Disney trivia questions and you'll win every time. With over 300 million prizes, you could win a million dollars, a Dodge Viper, even delicious McDonald's food. In the Jungle Book, what is Colonel Hottie? A bear. No, he's an elephant. The Disney Video Trivia Challenge, now at McDonald's. It's going to be magic. No purchase necessary. What will be hidden in store for details? I love this guy. You know what he sent me for Mother's Day? The Better Bear. I was expecting the usual Mother's Day gift. Flowers, candy, or something really different, like earrings. <laughs> but he outdid himself. He sent me the Better Bear. It's so soft and cuddly, and it's wearing this cute dress with sunflowers on it. He even had my name embroidered on the dress. I mean, the Better Bear is the best. And when I look at mine, I'll always remember how much he cares. He told me, so I sent the bear. 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 To order, call Captain 1 800 Bear 988. Or if you're a Cellular One subscriber, press star. Bear 988. Give the gift that keeps on care. Nothing for this moment. The playbook is called A Battle Between Mind and Body. 
somebody at work hey let us know okay we will back love letters also uh we'll take page doc how are we doing on the uh, pagers i can gather if you want to speak to these people well the thing is is we may well in future we can always page people to have them have them call us famous people drug dealers um or you can fax us yeah. somebody Right, 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 right. Hey, um, do we have a... Uh, this, uh, this probably one. stay in the uh, green room, Doc. Lucy, the tarot card reader. I'll uh, get through as many uh, Kev heads. Here's cheese crate. Oh. Lucy will tell your future here in just a sec. She's sweet. Come on, I'll take a few. This is Melissa Etheridge. I know you left your light on.